What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the top of the map. In the red color playing as Zeus. His name is Eric. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Thor. His name is Brickhead. It's game number five. This game's for all the marbles. Well, it's for the chance at all the marbles at the very least. The loser will go into the third, fourth place match. So they're not out, but they are out in one way thinking or whatever. But the winner goes to the finals to play against the winner of the other semi-finalist. Obviously, that's how it works. An incredibly hard fought series thus far, but it's all coming down to this final game on Alfheim where Brickhead has come back to his roots. He says, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna win it, if I'm gonna lose it, it's gonna be with my Thor. Whether or not you think Thor is the best god or not, Brickhead is the Thor expert. Crowned by whoever crowns the experts. We'll see how it's gonna go. But Alfheim, as I said, very different map to the first game he picked Thor on. The first game he picked Thor on Watering Hole, he had Back Hunt, he had a back gold mine. He 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 played it. I mean, he, he basically almost lost the game. If we're completely honest, there as well. Uh, but he played it quite nicely in the end. Can he manage to make that happen here with his style or not? Now, Eric, on the other hand, here, Eric's been going for double hoplite openings very, very often here in this series. On a map like Alfheim, the hunt just doesn't tend to be here now there is a decent amount of hunt at this moment second granary over here we do see that's the case there is only gonna be a handful of caribou after this so it's not a high hunt map by any stretch so more than likely we're gonna be seeing uh more than likely we're gonna be seeing brickhead or sorry eric go for hoplites and toxodes as we did see the Katoskopos trying to take out, out a cow here. It would have been a great idea to finish with taking out that cow. Losing all the HP on the, the Katoskopos isn't great and all, but uh, definitely definitely well worth it to pick off the cows of the, the Norse player. As you can see, he's already got nine with the berries and the chicken in his main base. He's going to be happy with that, to be honest, after all is said and done. So we'll see what sort of a strategy Eric's going to go for here. Utilizing, again, we, we say use, utilizing Hermes against Thor and against Loki is a, a little bit of a more dangerous thing because of the four seti. Four seti gives access to both the troll, which is a decent unit to take out the center and also Hall of Thanes. Uh, so you can't really go Hermes and expect to have success against a Thor just because of that threat. Now you can, some like, for some reason, Thor players like to pick Freya in this matchup. I don't think Freya is very good in this matchup. Uh, the troll is so much better in helping against Athena and helping against the centaur. But we do see Thor City, uh, Freya quite a bit here in this matchup. We'll see what Brickhead's going to pick. Meanwhile, Canopic Jar of Imseti has been uncovered with a reduction in infantry training time. Over here, we've got the Bow of Artemis with a reduction in archer cost. Uh, and the Staff of Dionysus with the extra villager carry capacity. As we do see the advancement through four Seti here for Brickhead. So a very, very different style here for Brickhead. And Athena coming through for, for Eric for the fourth time in this series. We do indeed see that Bow of Artemis getting picked up. This is a huge help for, uh, for the Athena Rush. Because it allows those archers to go from, what is it, 55 plus 35? Uh, is that right? For 90 resources down to like 81 resources. So it ends up being really, really nice. Is that right? Is it 35, 55? Not sure. And four city just about to pop up. We do see the wall segments coming up on this position by, uh, by Brickhead. He needs to play, make it, make it nice and safe. I like the gold mine. Great position for it to play defensively. Uh, the plan here for Brickhead essentially needs to be wall this up, get watchtowers, get himself Hursa, get himself thrown axe, and sit in his base and, and just 
play for the heroic age, get himself full population, or not necessarily full population, but like, let's say eight Hursa, bunch of thrown Axemen is going to be great. We do see the buildings coming up around the town center as well. As the wall's coming up on this position to defend. More walls coming up around the tower. This is uh, a legal way of defending your tower. So long as you build the wall segments and the uh, remainder of the wall, that is a completely fair way to defend your tower. And it's fairly cheap. I I'm surprised this hasn't been done more considering the rules. It's like a whole bunch of like, up half, like you're so strict with the, uh, the wall segments. Well, just build a regular wall if you're really that upset about it. Just build a regular wall. Completely fine. There's more wall segments coming up around this spot. Hoplites, Toxodes, and all the rest coming in. As Brickhead here, throwing Axeman coming out. And what's the plan here for Eric? He's just massing units here. Watchtower's coming in for Brickhead as well. Honestly, a fast second town center here from, uh, from Eric would have played so hard. Would have, it would have been a really big metagame. Would have played so hard around this opening from Brickhead. As the Dwarven Armory coming down straight away here. One longhouse, one temple, only building a handful of units here. As the army of Eric is moving in. Does need to put some more defenses here. Because even though this wall is up to defend the tower, he needs to put another house here or something to defend this tower. As the watchtower is 40% of the way through. It's pretty fast to upgrade this one. As this wall will get taken down. The troll going to be moving over here to defend. The armory is up. Brickhead isn't building units though. As another longhouse is coming in. We do see the, the tower is up as well. As the units will come through onto this position. One hoplite going to be getting taken out. This wall here. It's, it's baiting Eric in. He's losing some hoplite, so it's paying for itself nicely as another Minotaur is coming through. We do see the troll coming in. That's going to get a lot of good damage. I, I would, wouldn't be surprised to see this get bolted here as the Toxodi is able to take down a Hursa on this position. Breck had lots of resources in the bank here, but he is not building units for the time being. He has managed to hold off the current threat as another Watchtower is coming in. This is a really, really interesting way of defending the Athena Rush. We'll see if it's going to be working out. Towers take a long time to get up, and the pressure from those Toxodes can come in and cause a lot of problems as uh, another troll moving forward. The uh, the troll of Brickhead is a little bit out of position here as the Odysseus is going to start getting some good damage done as a raiding cavalry coming through trying to snipe down some units from afar. Losing that troll means no more damage onto those Minotaurs from afar as the house is going to be getting torn down. R Eric is sending uh, everything he possibly can through onto this position as the raiding cavalry sniping up a couple of straggler units over there as the other tower is up. The Minotaur goes down to a Hursa as it tries to retreat back into the watchtower. Does manage to get in there, but this tower on this position going to be going down as well the raiding cavalry coming back in to try and help out as the minotaur can start utilizing that special onto those raiding cavalry there as well as brickhead here is now housed at 45 population one tower one town center is that going to be enough here for him to hold as the villagers retreating away here we do have that dwarven gold mine getting thrown down but this is not the game plan which brickhead was playing towards there is still restoration remaining as the second minotaur does end up finally getting taken out. Brickhead now moving on to his cows over here as the village is finishing up on the uh, on the berries here. Uh, the, the watchtower over here that is defending the villagers on this position here is completely naked. No defenses on that one as the village is moving up onto the chicken here. And Eric still searching around. We see medium raiders coming through as well. But Eric is in a commanding position thus far. Do see that wall is coming up here as fast as it can, but the hoplites, they want to come in. They want to take out those units. Nice snipes there from Eric, but he does take a lot of damage to get in there and get that snipe. No units going down, though. It's now Brickhead. He's got himself his house. He's still sitting in here nice and defensively. Eric at this point, 85 or 85 pop. He's in his main base. He doesn't have any hunt. Well, he does have a little bit of hunt left, but not much. As Eric's still scouting around, lots of hoplites starting to move in here. As Brickhead is getting closer and closer to that 800 food, he's refusing to build units here, instead favoring the uh, 
just building the one the one throw and axe man. He's got plenty of resources. Now he can advance, but Scardy coming in. Brickhead's score does drop there as well. We'll see if Eric is going to be able to sniff this one out or not. There's a temple on the backside coming up. I wouldn't mind seeing some more buildings getting thrown up here to try and defend the town center. But this is looking like a very similar situation to that first game. Except in this position, Brickhead's got even less military out than in that first game. There are maybe significantly less hoplites though with only 13. The restoration is still available. <coughs> and the question after it's all said and done is... Will Scardi be enough... To hold here as the raiding cavalry searching around for villages to kill, searching around for everything to take out. There's still about, I would say, 20 seconds remaining, 24 seconds remaining here for that town center to get torn down. As the army is looking to push forward here, Eric says, Not today, not going to go for it. Scardi is on the way. He, he doesn't feel like he's going to be able to take it out in time. He's probably right after all is said and done. As Scardi does pop, and Eric's got his options here. Option number one, take your Toxodes, run away, attack the town center, force Frost or something like that. But Brickhead here, finishing up on that gold mine. He's still got 370 gold left over here. <coughs> but he's still got a way to go to get himself the, well, one, the resources to get himself a hill fort. Two, a gold mine out. Because Hoplite's still chasing everyone around. <clears throat> Chad is wondering why not attack the town center at this point well it can be a little bit daunting you don't really know where all the units are and there are some tricks that Norse players can can do to kind of bait you into doing that sort of an attack things like garrisoning units into the town center hiding units away and you don't know how many is actually there so you don't really know that he spent those resources or not <clears throat> Zarek now getting farms up in his main base, still eating all the resources all over on the map, making sure that he gets everything he possibly can before farming. <clears throat> Brickhead getting closer and closer to his full population. He has managed to survive the early game, so to speak. Eric, on the other hand, will be going Mythic Age here. Not Mythic Age, Heroic Age here. As a Minotaur comes in and snipes a villager nicely. But so too does a Hoplite fall on that position. As Brickhead now moving out onto this gold mine. There is Frost. He can put a put a Frost. He can freeze an army. He can put himself a hill fort down on it. If he so chooses, we see a marker getting dropped down by Brickhead now as well. As the army does decide to move in onto this position. The Minotaur trying to get a kill over here as the raiding cavalry. Playing a little bit of dodge and cars. There are some upgrades here with just Pierce Armor in tier one Pierce Armor, copper weapons. The army now going to push through. Oxcart in a bit of a safe position here. Brickhead puts it here just to play around. Toxodes sniping this off. If we do see a frost coming in, the army pulling into the uh, into the forest here. Imagine forest fire. Brickhead decided to take this fire. I'm not sure why he's pushing in here. He doesn't need to. As the Minotaur getting some good damage done as well. Finally, Brickhead realizes he needs to retreat away. He's taking a lot of losses here. He does retreat back. Eric's at 115 pop. There is still that frost to be, be dropped down on this position. He has to use it as he does end up dropping it there. The hill fort going to get dropped down onto this position. But is that going to be enough is the big question. He's only got a handful of throwing axemen as the uh, Minotaur does end up getting taken out. If you frost a unit with a frost giant first and then utilize your god power frost, that unit does not get... The, spe the, the armor upgrades, I think. That's a Frost Giant coming over here. Sees another Minotaur going to be able to take that one out. Eric, Hand Axe, Pickaxe, Plow now coming in at 13 minutes here. And this is a tense moment here for Brickhead because there's also Restoration coming. And this is the only gold mine he's got. I wouldn't mind seeing like a tower or something getting thrown up here just to help with the defense, the damage output that his army has. And at this point, there's the hill fort. There's the restoration. And the frost giant, everyone else needs to retreat back here away from that restoration for the time being. There's just so many units here. The Huskarl are going to be starting to come out. Generally speaking, I'm more of a fan of the uh, of the Huskarl 
or sorry, of the hill fort being placed in your main base so it doesn't just get torn down by the hoplites. And Eric knows this as he says, I'm just going to go straight after that hill fort. The raiding cavalry coming around trying to circle onto the medium toxodes. But as the hill fort gets taken down, that puts a stop to those huskar from coming in. That allows those medium toxodes to do so much damage. The village is pulling off of the gold mine here, trying to take out the Odysseus here. Brickhead down to 70 population. Eric at 110 population. Brickhead with nothing left in the tank here as the hoplites pushing through, taking out the medium race, taking out everything else. And what else can Brickhead do with these with these villages and everything else? They're going to get taken out. Eric's on two town centers here to boot. And Brickhead has to retreat away. There's gold mines at the top side of the map. But Brickhead doesn't want to play it out. Eric claims game number five. Claiming the victory in this best of five series here. And walks away with Eric uh, being the victor. Going on to the finals. An incredibly well played game here by Eric Brickhead tried to cheese out a, I say cheese out, he managed to get himself to the heroic gauge here nicely, but he just could not find the value here to get a frost, take out the army and, and keep himself alive. I do think when you get to the heroic age as Norse, your priority needs to be to get yourself a hill fort. Putting a hill fort outside of your base against Zeus allows the Zeus player to just knock it down. And then you can't get the Huskarls. And you can't win the fights. Brickhead, if he probably just put the hill fort in his main base, maybe even just put villagers onto wood for a little bit and traded wood for gold for a little bit before, and then get himself out of his base, frost, put another hill fort down, give himself some huskar to take out the medium toxodes, throw an axeman, can take out the hoplites, all is good. He can probably continue in this game fairly nicely. But given the decision making here from Brickhead, he just could not quite work it out. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.